Right, let's take a look inside these two arcade cabinets that I edged from a resort in Torres Strait, a very kind gift from a friend of mine. This and a box downstairs of a whole stack of board. They, I'm told these are an Hankin H5 cabinet and I think they were originally designed for video poker. So they have this quite long shelf on top. Um, and my mate who gave them to me has said that they had about 30 of these machines, all from Hankin, and they converted them later to be three button, a lot of them. And some I think were even converted to Street Fighter boards. Um, but these, I believe, based on this little date tag here, uh, 1982 serial number 4674 would make sense to me. So, yeah, in terms of the software, Star Force, I think, was a mid-80s game. Zippy Race, I think the same, mid-80s, and also got a port to the Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, I see Hankin made them to have either a vertical screen or a horizontal. This one had a horizontal, and I just marked the tabs on the outline of the CRT, which actually doesn't look in too bad condition. Um, which I was able to pull out and I'll be able to test that separately. Um, so my plan is to make at least one good machine of these with the original cathode ray tube monitor and to be able to maybe I'll make the other one into like an LCD vertical to play 1942 emulators, things like that. Um, but yeah, they, I gave them a bit of a clean up before I freighted them down. And I grabbed some parts, so just a generic, uh, a new jammer harness and a power supply unit. Uh, just, just a very cheap one to begin with. Uh, this is my first time mucking around with arcade cabinets. Um, both of these machines were jammerized at some point to the jammer harness, which is a Japanese arcade standard, is what I'm told. So that was the orientation up upwards. So this is an, is an aftermarket bracket that was a later addition. And I believe the board that was in this cabinet was Snow Brothers. It was in here and the board actually looked in really good condition. But as you can tell, I'm really loath to go um, testing this machine as it is. The, I mean, the power supply unit is, is visibly rusty. The transformer here is, looks quite old. You know, it says danger, 240 volts. Also, it looks like rats or mice have been in here um, uh, chewing things. Uh, so I, I, I just do not trust this wiring. I'll definitely have to um, rewire the whole cabinet. Um, but otherwise, yeah, the marquee is in really nice condition. The glass is original. Star Force. Uh, the bezel is perfect. Um, that goes around the monitor and the original glass and my mate even said he had more of the original glass um, up up in Taurus still so that's really awesome so we'll get to work cleaning the cabinet out um, we'll pull all this gear out of the bottom it only took a moment to pull out um, that mid panel there and the um, and the control board here uh, and you can see this one as well has been converted to three buttons at some point. And some of the other games that were there on offer, there was a few more in his um, warehouse that I didn't grab. I only grabbed these two because I like them, but they only had a single button. And in fact, one of them only had one joystick and one button for obviously a very early 80s uh, video game. A quick summary of the project so far. Um, wish us luck. I'm really keen to get one of these going.